In this lecture, I will give you an example of a ceramic capacitor. From previous lectures, we understand the ideal capacitor model and the basic capacitor model including the ESR and the ESL. So on the right-hand side, this is the impedance curve for a realistic capacitor model over frequency. In this lecture, I will go over the datasheet of a ceramic capacitor for 1 microfarad, 100 volt ceramic cap. The temperature coefficient is X7R, the size is 1206. Here is the manufacturer part number from the manufacturer Kemet. DigiKit.com is one of the largest component distributors in the USA. It has a very good component database. For this particular capacitor, we can use this link and find the web page for this capacitor. Also, the datasheet can be found using the link as shown here. The datasheet is providing general and basic information about the capacitor. For example, this is the capture of the first page for the datasheet, which gives an overview and the benefits and applications for this series of capacitors. Oftentimes, the datasheet is so general that it cannot give us much detailed specs about this capacitor. We need to find the specific characteristics, such as impedance versus frequency, DC bias, capacitance change over temperature, and etc. So we need to go to the manufacturer official website and search for spec sheet or characteristics data. The following manufacturers often provide such information, such as Kimit, TDK, Murata, and so on. In this particular case, we go to kemet.com and search for this particular capacitor using the manufacturer part number. If we go to the spec sheet, we can find that information. So this is the spec sheet for this capacitor. Here is the manufacturer part number. This is the dimension and the uh, package specifications. On the right-hand side, we can see the general information and specifications. The capacitance is 1 microfarad. You can see the measured condition, capacitance tolerance, voltage in DC, dielectric withstanding voltage, temperature range, temperature coefficient, capacitance change, dissipation factor, aging rate, and the insulation resistance. This is one of the capture which is very important from spec sheet. On the left-hand side, we can see there are two curves. The dark curve is the ESR curve in ohms versus frequency in hertz. The light blue is the overall impedance over frequency. On the right-hand side, we can see the capacitance versus frequency. And also, the light blue indicates the inductance versus frequency. So when the frequency is below the counter frequency or resonant frequency, we can ignore the ESL. So that the impedance is purely capacitive, it behaves like a good capacitor. At F0, we can see the minimal impedance occurs at ESR. At this frequency, the ESL and capacitance cancel out each other. On the right-hand side, we can see that when the frequency below F0, we can find the capacitance is around 1 microfarad. Once the frequency is above F0, the inductance jumps up to the ESL. This is a new curve from the spec sheet. On the left-hand side, we can see the maximum current in amps RMS and the maximum voltage in volt RMS versus frequency. This is important knowledge to understand the capacitor operating condition for example, how much current in RMS is flowing through the capacitor. Because the capacitor can only provide AC current at steady state, you need to understand what's the maximum current RMS at certain frequency. On the right hand side, this is the S11 parameter. On the left, we can see the S21 parameter for this capacitor. On the right hand side, this is a very important curve for DC bias or DC voltage bias. On the y-axis, we can see the capacitance change, which is a negative number in percentage. x-axis is the applied voltage in DC. Basically, when you increase the applied voltage in DC, the effective capacitance drops. For example, at 20 volt, the capacitance drop is 20%. That means only 0.8 microfarad left as the effective capacitance at 20 volt DC. This is the major disadvantage of ceramic capacitance. From the KMAT, we can see the online database, so-called KSIM. It gives you the current versus temperature rise. 
which is a very convenient tool. For example, if we draw the curve at here, we can see the temperature rise at different frequency. Basically, if the frequency is low, you have more temperature rise. You are welcome to try it by yourself. Recap, we go over the datasheet example of a ceramic capacitor. We know that the specs sheet or characteristics datasheet are giving you more important parameters, such as impedance versus frequency, ESR, ESL, DC bias, S11, and S22 parameters. Also, I show you the datasheet online from the manufacturer Kemet, which is a very useful tool to understand the temperature rise. Thank you and see you next time.